Okay, so we came out here this morning. Pretty normal, except for that. This is what Danelle does when I leave her home alone and I gotta go to the store. I'm trying to get this goat to be more friendly because she is our most wild and we don't want to take him away from mom and bottle feed him, but we want to make him friendly. So this is Danelle and goat time. I'm teaching her that humans are comforting. Tummy time? Yes, skin to skin. <laughs> <laughs> skin to skin. <laughs> Eventually she will like this. She will learn to like this. Are her eyes closed? Yeah. I'm gonna let her take her nap on me and then she can go back outside and be able. Okay, we're making introductions. Our goats want to come smell the new baby goats. And look, they're all they're all going nuts and and having the hair on their backs all stand up. Look, because they're all they're like, oh a new goat. Oh my goodness. They're all agitated. Yeah. Penny's agitated. <laughs> Look, every single one of them, the hair on their back is like a, what is that, like a razorback. So whenever goats are like in a stress mode or they're like don't know something, they always do that. They usually headbutt each other too until they get to know each other. They're like, I'm going to ram you in the head until I get to know you for a little bit. And then, but we have a fence here so they can't do the headbutting thing but they're getting to know these baby goats. If Doris was outside the cage, she'd probably be headbutting them. Yeah. She is really protective of her face. Yeah, she, would, she wants to like be the protector. But looks like they're kind of losing interest, so they're not that uh, concerned. They're just gonna smell the baby's bum a little bit and then call it good. Luna doesn't care though, she's just... Okay, so we came out here this morning to go milk and everything is pretty normal except for that. Mabel somehow got all the way up to the chicken coop and is now eating leaves. She's eating every leaf in reach. Yeah. I'm about to get you up there to lift her. Or some leaves. Can you give me some leaves? She has leaves up there. Yeah, I need leaves to help her get down, Ethan. Oh, let's, let's see. You want, you want them? You want the leaves? Mabel! Give them to me. Gotta come down. Oh, yeah. Hey, you gotta down. come around <gasps> this way. And somehow Tilly's over there now. My ball. Do do do. Come on, goats. If you could get over, then you can get over again. Come on. Spray them. Come on. Oh, goats. Oh yeah, you can jump out here. Goats. Or you're just gonna fight until you find out. Tilly. Ah. Oh. They don't really care. Goodies! Ooh. Here she goes, here she goes. She's gonna jump. Oh no. There they go. When there's lots of leaves, they want him. So we were just out there um, doing our milking chores and stuff and we discovered Mabel was on top of the, the chicken coop trying to get leaves like reaching off gonna fall and so we got her down with like leaves and everything so that's that but now Tilly is up there Tilly has learned from Mabel that you can get up there and so now 
we're gonna have goats as our roosters. They reach and reach for the leaves, and we're so worried they're gonna fall. Their hooves go over the edge. They just can't reach. All right, so we got a bunch of leaves right here that will hopefully be enough to get Tilly down. Come on, you see him, you see him. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come down here. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's that. Don't go up again, goats. Okay, so it's the end of the day. I'm just making the rounds. The kids did all of the uh, um, chores. We're just checking on the animals. Looks like the chickens need some more food again. And their water changed again. Baby chicks are not easy to take care of because they need a ton of daily, hourly care. You wanna grab me a light so I can show the baby goats? So I wanted to say real quick, um, yes, our coop is disgusting and we have been planning to do like this major overhaul on it. So that video is actually coming out tomorrow. So look for that. We're doing a really fun um, disinfecting the coop and we're doing it like a traditional old fashioned way. So look for that tomorrow. I appreciate um, the heads up. Like I, it really doesn't offend me when people are like, you need to clean that out because we do. We need to clean it out, so thank you. All right, so let's go check on little, little Frida. Let's see, how bright can we make it out here? She's been really, really good, and she's getting more and more friendly. So she's been doing really well, and I think today after her fun little nap with me, she's a lot better. So yeah, it just takes a lot of work to get these babies to be friendly, but I think uh, because we're so like diligent with it, it's gonna pay off. Oh, I forgot, um, you need to go and move that little round thing because the goats today, did the kids tell you what happened today? No. The goats were jumping on the top of the coop, so you wanna go move it with me real quick? Oh, okay. So that they don't do it again, cause you know, I don't want them to break their legs or something trying to jump down. Okay. All right, good night babies, go to sleep. Can you roll it? Where can you roll it? Somewhere where the goats can't. If you do, if you put it right there, then Tilly will jump up and eat this oh. tree. <laughs> There's nowhere you can put it. <laughs> out in the middle of the, the middle, middle of the pasture, the pasture out there. Pasture. All right, guys, I think that that is it for the night. Tomorrow is chicken coop cleaning day. It's gonna be an adventure. We'll see you guys later. Have a great night. See ya. Bye.